introduction to mathematical thinking sounds the, the, very, the most basic level of mathematics. A am I hearing that accurately? Like someone who has an interest but not a background in mathematics would... Yeah, in fact, you... I mean, certainly for the last couple of weeks of the course, the high school mathematics is, whilst not essential, it's pretty important. I mean, it would be a real struggle without it. But for the first two weeks, we just look at everyday language. We analyse language and say, what does this really mean when you look at it? I have various examples from newspaper headlines and, and advertising copy. When, when you, when you, when you analyse the language, it doesn't say at all what people think it means. It literally doesn't mean what the, the literal meaning is not that, I mean, the point is everyday language is flexible and fluid and we use it in a context. But the point about mathematics is mathematics, what makes mathematics unique is we look at the world in a very, very strange way, a very uh, abstract way, a skeletal way, and we strip away most of the complexities and the ambiguities of everyday life. And we look at that logical structural core. And the only way to do that is to begin with your everyday language and make that and, and become proficient in using everyday language in a non-ambiguous way. So all you need to understand the first few weeks of the course is to speak English, which actually is a problem for an international course, because students yeah. from a different culture actually had a lot of trouble in the first two or three weeks when we analysed phrases like, everyone loves a lover. Or the famous quote, you know, you can fool all of the people some of the time, some of the people all of the time, not all of the people all of the time, which I believe Abraham Lincoln may have said. Yes, <laughs> maybe a <laughs> But it's not, it's, it's a popular right? But in any case, we analyse things like that and say, what's the logical structure of that? Mm -hmm. And so if you come from an English background, you've got some culture to pull on. But the whole point is to strip away the culture, to strip away the complexity and say, what does this logically mean in terms of something follows from something else, something implies something? That's what we're doing in the first two or three weeks. 